Good afternoon, guys. Hey, this is Bruce Marshall from Simpler Trading with tonight's market update for Wednesday, August the 7th. And you guys know I like to look at the S&P. We'll start there. Um, kind of a crazy day today, but um, ironically, it doesn't really look like it if you look at this. I've got the S&P up here. We'll zoom in here in a second. Uh, well, in fact, let me take these down and I'll show you. That's the ticks I'm looking at here. And this is what happened on the day today in the S&P. And if you look at this, now it looks a little more dramatic down here. If you notice uh, down here, 28.25, and we went all the way up to 28.92. Now this is the S&P cash. That is 67 points. Um, that's pretty, that's moving on in the S&P for the day, um, especially when, you know, our typical daily price move might be 40, lately, 40 points, it used to be 45 points on a week, and now it's, you know, 45 in a day, and we went 67 today. Um, crazy, crazy, crazy move. What's even more crazy, if you did not see this, really interesting, this is the S&P futures last night, so check this out. So we were up here at... 28, 2890. Look at that. So this is the high uh, overnight, 2890. We sold off all the way down here. So we went down um, 70. You know, we went down 70 points. The light gray is the overnight in the futures, right? The ES and the futures market. And the dark green is when the regular market opens up. And we came down, hit that down 70. And then guess what? Up basically 70, 67, something like that. So all the way down, all the way back up. And this is in basically one session. This was at 5 o'clock in the morning, 5 a.m. Uh, when we hit this, 6, 7, 8, 30. You know, it's when the market opens central time. So um, again, if you did not see the overnight action, you might look at that and go, well, that's not too bad. But it's been, it's been pretty crazy. Let's go back to three days here and look. The other thing, if you did not see was it the other night we hit 27.75 27.75 overnight um, and again this is the close of the cash you know this is SPX or it's the ES during the day but the cash session is here and then um, overnight you know you wouldn't think much happened but we had a huge that's a huge slam down there from um, almost 28.50 down to 2775 I mean that's you know you're pushing 50 to 75 points lower overnight um, and then you know just ripped higher again so again lots going on under the current uh, under the surface and here's a 10-day chart all this has happened uh, since last week this is the let me zoom in a little bit more and get a better picture for you here um, this is the that's the Fed meeting right there and then this is when the uh, tariffs started and we just kind of came down uh, notice 3029 all the way down to 2775 and that is 255 points in the S&P the ES you know and this was last Monday so this is one week and really it all started kind of here we were kind of about the same price so basically from last friday you know this is um one two three four trading days you know 255 points that's a lot so we know this you know we have to have our crash helmet on and all that kind of stuff right now um, again this is the s p you don't see all the uh you see the light you know the light uh, things are the overnight action which you do not see on the S&P chart so always check those futures uh, to see what's going on overnight for the real story so if you look at this we know that the S&P or the the futures the S, uh, ES futures came down to 27.75 and when you look at the SPX chart you don't you do not see that this doesn't you look at this and go well that's not too bad well it actually came down here um, so anyway the point of all that is that we were getting some fantastic, incredible volatility. Um, that's you know that is happening. Uh, we haven't seen this much 
in a long, long time. This notice this move here from point to point was a pretty big drop, right? But the length of time here it took was um, you know month and a half, something like this. Again, this is like six days, five days, and it's not quite as much, but it's a uh, it's pretty close, right? So the speed of this it's what's kind of a little, a little unnerving and um, because of that we have to be really careful um, to see kind of what the next steps are because what I don't want you to do is to you know we've had a couple of strong up days or, or turnarounds and don't go okay well you know we're going back up again we just buy this dip and you know and, and we're off to the races maybe and I hope that's the case but um, People thought the same thing right there. You see that green line? And people thought the same thing there after a couple, three, four, five days. And people thought the same thing there after a couple, three, four, five days. So we could come back up and then roll back over and continue this trend, you know, to the downside. So, you know, so be careful and let this play out to whichever way it goes. I think we resolve to the upside because there's a Fed rate. Um, or a Fed meeting coming in September, and it's already, they're already, uh, Powell actually basically said they're going to do 25 basis points, maybe more if needed, and all that kind of stuff, super positive for the market. Um, so I think we'll ultimately, we'll, um, you know, we'll continue on the upward move. But again, you know, just don't be surprised if we get into some pretty, pretty wicked kind of movement like this before, ultimately going up and and this is in the short term right um, because we've got all kind of things going on you guys saw um, Thailand India New Zealand all cutting currency cutting rates today last night that's one reason for the big uh, move overnight um, central banks around the world uh, cutting rates you know we are um, we, we could have some problems coming down the road as the global economy slows down. The U.S. at this point is still fine, uh, but, you know, we have to really keep an eye on that. And I'm talking about over the next, you know, not the next couple of weeks, but over the next couple of years probably. Um, so just kind of be aware of that. But anyway, um, as it pertains to this, uh, be careful. Um, I, I told you guys last week that I got flat. I crashed out of everything right before the Fed, and I missed all this fun. Um, and I'm being very, very selective, kind of going back in. I did buy a little CRM today, trying to get a little bump into earnings, uh, rise into earnings. I went long CRM. Um, other than that, I am still flat. I just, I'm, I'm sitting on my hands. I think that's a smart thing to do. So be very careful as we navigate you know this kind of stuff because these wild swings 50 up points up and down the S&P you know in a matter of hours uh, that's obviously not normal and you know we don't want to uh, play with fire if we don't have to so be very careful on your on your uh, selections there I, I will say this there are becoming a lot of bargains out there things look cheap and we want to look for um, you know good solid names that aren't really haven't really been affected too much like a Procter and Gamble. You see that chart? It's just pulled back into that's a 50 day moving average. Nothing scary looking about that. Stuff like uh, McDonald's, nothing scary looking about that. Um, I was going to say Roku, great looking chart. They actually reported after hours today and they are higher. So, um, you know, there are some good looking charts out there. Just, you know, be careful. Try not to catch the falling knives from the, uh, you know, this, you know, this is Nike, for example. Is this, is this a turn? Maybe. Or is this a head fake and it goes like this? You know, I don't know. So, uh, again, that's why I am, I am uh, extremely light and sitting on my hands and kind of watching. We'll know how this is going to play out in the next, maybe take another couple of days, couple of weeks. But if we're going to have a head fake here, and by a head fake, I mean if we're going to, you know, maybe get a little bit more traction and then come back down. Uh, we'll know that in the next, within the next week. So um, I'll be back one week from today and we will regroup and see what happened. So take care, be careful trading, trade light, trade smart, and I will see you at the next update. Thanks for the time.